Hey, Morgan SLV here. Thanks for tuning in once again today, taking some time out of your day to check out uh, what's going on in, uh, in our little world here. Let's go over silver for a quick minute. <clears throat> once again, it's back up. Uh, it's 1903 today. Today's date is 625-2010. So once again, it's ratcheting up a little bit. Like I say, it goes up and down. Uh, you know, about every 30 seconds they reevaluate it, correct? So once again, yeah, I'm looking for that upward trend to, trend to continue. Doesn't mean we can't have a pullback, even a significant one. I feel that's not going to shake me off this off this uh, off the off the silver dog, so to speak. I'm hanging on to that tail. Uh, I wanted to go over a couple things today. One of the things that happens when a government prints money is this. Let me read off my little uh, cue card here. Gold and silver lays silent until the increase of the currency supply uh, uh, takes place. Uh, the public senses inflation. When they do, they rush back to gold and silver to protect their purchasing power. Uh, gold and silver then is bid up periodically. Uh, to match the currency supply like it happened in 1980. I believe gold went to like 8.50 an ounce, uh, silver went to, uh, I heard anywhere from $35 uh, an ounce for the actual uh, uh, price you were getting it on the, uh, for it on the street all the way up to 50. So somewhere in there and I'm not exact about that and I'm not really uh, you know that curious about it in the fact that uh, we know we know things are bad. We know people are rushing to gold and silver absolutely. Uh, you know it doesn't take an Einstein to figure that out. One of the things that I, I looked on uh, YouTube today, and a guy was had a pretty convincing little uh, little bit of information. Uh, he buys quarters, uh, junk silver quarters, ninety percent deal, and uh, he said, you know, right now I can buy a gallon of gas for one quarter, and I thought that was pretty significant, uh, pretty interesting. It made a lot of sense to me. It just shows, uh, you know, what's going on with the currency supply and whatnot. Uh, it's not a good thing. Uh, you know, uh, I hear a lot of people say, you know, some inflation is good. Well, you know, if you have a stable, if you have a stable dollar, if you have it tethered to something that's stable, that store of value like gold, things go down. Things actually, prices actually gradually go down because you have a stable atmosphere. And uh, you know, I, I'm just looking for things to, uh, you know, further unwind. Uh, you know, I've got, you know, I know there's a lot of naysayers out there. They call silver bugs or whatever. The bottom line is this, you know, until somebody gives me a convincing scenario where I shouldn't be investing in gold or silver, I'm going to stay on this current track. I, uh, I have 100% faith in Robert Kiyosaki and his knowledge, Peter Schiff and his knowledge. You know, I've heard uh, Max Kaiser today, uh, I just went on one of his videos, he said Peter Schiff has it exactly wrong. Well, show me, some, show me some concrete evidence that what I am doing for myself and my family is the wrong thing. I mean, I need to see some concrete evidence with history behind it. Uh, you, know, if, if you, you know, if you don't know the past, you're doomed to repeat it in the future, correct? You know, uh, the, the, the Great Depression, you know, we got out of that not because of the government, we got out of it in spite of the government. So, like I say, in order for me to change course, you know, uh, Mr. Tooth, you know, with all due respect, uh, I've, I've, I've been uh, commenting on your little, uh, you know, on your little YouTube deal there. I, I don't see, you gotta, you're going to have to give me some concrete evidence with a long span of time to tell me that when you inflate the currency supply, you shouldn't run out and grab something that's, you know, a hard asset such as gold or silver. Now, obviously, I can't put barrels of oil in my backyard. You know, uh, I can't go get bushels of wheat. I mean, that's kind of, you know, kind of hard to do that. I'm not going to uh, grab a bunch of cows and stick them. In, you know, I live in a neighborhood, so it makes sense for me to grab something that's been, you know, known as money for six thousand years. I mean, you know, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to be pretty convincing to me to get me to, to uh, you know, get off this horse, so to speak. And uh, you know, I, like I say, I'm, I'm very comfortable with what I see going on, and the, and the fact that, you know, how comfortable can, how comfortable can you be, you know, when your government uh, and the, the and the and the Fed, uh, you know, is they're running amok, man. I mean, like I said, I said in one of my videos, doesn't own anybody own a calculator? Uh, I believe they do have a calculator. It's probably stuffed under one of their one of their uh, pillows on the bed or whatnot. So it's got some dust on it, or they lost it, or something's going on, and things are kind of falling apart. And like I say, you know, my challenge to anybody that wants to, you know, talk me out of this, so to speak. I mean, I, I believe in you know uh, a conversation, lively conversation. 
you're going to have to give me some real hard evidence, number one, and it's going to have to be backed by a lot of history. So once again, the history that I have with gold and silver has been, it's been uh, you know, thought of as monetary metals for 6,000 years. That's a long time. I don't think we're all going to be here 6,000 years from now. So uh, like I say, I'm pretty convinced you know, on what I'm doing, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm interested in lively debate. You know, put down some, put some on there. Let, let me, let, you know, give me some examples that have that type of history or anywhere near it, and uh, let's have a little discussion because I'm, you know, I am definitely down for that. Let me. Uh, oh, I wanted to also mention. Please give Peter Schiff all your support that you can. What I've done is I bought some of his books and I actually give them away, and I've given them away to some pretty smart people who thought they had things dialed in. I remember I met one guy who uh, voted for Barack Obama. I don't blame everything on Barack, so please don't. I don't want a bunch of, I don't want a bunch of uh, comments on my side that I don't like Barack Obama. I didn't vote for the man, but I'm not blaming him for everything. The bottom line is this. So I hand this guy, uh, by the way, his name is Pete. I handed him Peter Schiff's book. Now he was staunch. You know, he was a supporter of what Barack was doing. He says Dodge was too big to fail. The government's, you know, our our uh, our country's too big to fail. Really? Well, so I go ahead and give him this book, and about 15 minutes later, I come by there. Now, he was over at a, at a, at a uh, amusement park that I was at, and I just happened to have a, the copy with me. And about 15 minutes later, he said, this guy needs to be president. Well, he's not running for president, but I'll tell you what, he is running in Connecticut, and he could use your support. So go to go to shiftforsenate.com. Once again, shiftforsenate.com. Give him all the support you can, or at least take a look at him. Uh, take a look at you know he's got over yeah I don't know he's five million hits or four million hits on his uh, on his uh, YouTube uh, channel there uh, shift report and uh, just check him out and I think you'll be really 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 impressed with what he has to say and it cracks me up you know when he talks to his uh, to his uh, possible voters you know one of the things he says he look I don't want a second term I don't even want the first term but somebody's got to go get this thing right somebody has got to fight for the American way. And I believe he's doing that. So once again, silver's up uh, today, 1903. That's that's you know that's that's news. I don't want to call it great news or bad news, or good news. I'm just saying that's the state that it's at right now. I expect it to go up. Check into junk silver. Another uh, shout out I want to uh, put out is uh, in Rockland, California. Here we have a, a place called Rockland Coin Shop. It's it's basically a bullion supply. He's a bullion dealer dealer. Uh, Matt over there, he's a great guy, and uh, you know, check him out. He uh, he was previously hooked up with uh, Jason Hummel. I believe they're still pretty good friends. Uh, Jason Hummel is, you know, as you know, lives in California, and uh, you know, these guys are they're they're square guys. You can walk in there, purchase your gold or silver on the spot, and uh, walk out, you know, cash deal, and uh, it works out real good. So once again, this is Morgan SLV coming at you, you know, uh, basically live from my house. Uh, I'm trying to share some information. Once again, get me off this horse. You're going to have to come up with some some pretty good arguments. And I haven't really, you know, I haven't really, you know, telling telling me that well, you can make a good argument for this or a good argument for that. You are going to have to back it up with a lot of history in order for me to change what I'm doing. We'll see you next time.